Dampak lingkungan industri peternakan terus menjadi sorotan. Today with the world as it is with growing populations with pressure on our water systems on our land, we need a better way, a cleaner way, a safer way. Um, and we thought the idea of providing people the meat that they love without killing the animal, without all the land and the resources might be a, a good path to help us eat better in the future. Selain sumber nabati yang diolah menjadi mirip daging, satu lagi produk yang tengah dikembangkan adalah daging hasil kultivasi sel, alias ditumbuhkan dari sel binatang di laboratorium. Cultivated meat is meat, like I said, it's not a meat alternative. It's meat that's grown from real animal cells. So what we do is we take really high quality animal cells from let's say a cow or a pig or a chicken or a lobster, and we look for cells that can continue to grow outside the animal. Departemen Pertanian Amerika Serikat pada awal 2023 memberi izin bagi Upside dan Good Meat untuk menjual daging hasil kultivasi di laboratorium. Seorang koki mencoba produk daging ayam hasil kultivasi sel dan sulit membedakannya dengan daging ayam yang diternak. The flavor is delicious. The texture is spot on. And that's not easy to do, right? Um, and I, like I said, I didn't miss the real thing. Tapi bagaimana dengan konsumen secara umum? Good Meat menggelar sebuah uji coba. A similar taste, I think a little bit to chicken thigh, but I would kind of compare a little bit to like tofu too. It's maybe a little springier than actual chicken, um, but the flavor is there. Obviously, seared really nicely. The aroma is really similar to chicken. Survei oleh kantor berita Associated Press bersama Nork Center menemukan hanya 18 persen warga Amerika antusias mencoba daging hasil kultivasi sel dan hanya 30 persen yang menyatakan mungkin mau mencoba. If you think about how traditional chicken is made, it's made through like very tough conditions. There's a lot of things that I don't know about that's behind the scenes, but at least when you think about cultivated meat, it's done in a process that's very clean. If it's as um, affordable as regular chicken, I would definitely buy it um, knowing that it will be more uh, sustainable. How much better for the environment is? What are you tracking? Is it, are you like just looking at carbon dioxide emissions? Are you looking at other things too? So yeah, I'm, I'm always skeptical. Mereka yang skeptis umumnya menyatakan ragu dengan keamanan daging yang dikultivasi dari sel. Satu lagi alasan utama yang diberikan oleh mereka yang skeptis adalah mereka ragu akan rasa dari daging hasil kultivasi sel. Apakah bisa selezat daging hasil peternakan? Temuan EP dan Nox Center adalah bahwa warga usia 45 tahun ke bawah lebih terbuka untuk mencoba dibandingkan warga usia 45 tahun ke atas. Dari Washington DC, saya Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.